Hello and welcome to another MATLAB tutorial. In this tutorial I'd like to introduce to you the MATLAB Symbolic Toolbox. This is a very useful toolbox because you can compute, for example, very complex expressions using your computer. To start this demonstration I'll first type sims x and this will declare x as a symbolic variable. So as you can see in my workspace I have x as a symbolic variable. Now Let's type i equals to x squared to create, for example, the x squared function. And let's make a plot of this function using easy plot of y. So, as you can see, easy plot plots me whatever function I have. Now, let's, for example, differentiate y in order to x. So, the answer sh should be 2x. So, I can use the command div y comma x and indeed the answer is 2 times x. I can also integrate the variable y in order to x and to do that I'll use the command int of y and this will give me an indefinite integral of y with a constant equal to 0. So this will be the answer and if I want a better readable expression then the one MATLAB presents me, I can use the function pretty so pretty of ends and this way I can read better what MATLAB gives me. Now let's for example compute a definite integral that would be int of y and let's integrate y between minus 3 and 7 And this is the answer. Let's now try a more complex expression. For example, let's declare a as a symbolic variable too. And now let's make a modification to the y function. And let's say y will be equal to cosine of x plus e to the power of a times x plus a squared plus x squared. So as you can see this is already a more complex expression and I can do anything I want with it again. Let's start for example by differentiating y in order to a or x. So that would be diff y a and this will be the derivative of y in order to a or I could do diff y in order to x. So I hope you can see now that indeed this toolbox has a huge potential. Now I'll give you another example again with x squared. So let's set again y equals to x squared. And I'll show you another feature that this toolbox has. And that feature is the solve function. Say for example I want to solve y, so x squared equal to the variable a. And I'll have to make clear here that I want to solve it in order to x. So x squared equals a. Let's press enter. And it tells me that the answer is minus square root of a or plus square root of a, which is indeed correct. Now let's try the more complex previous expression. So y equals cosine of x plus e to the power of a times x plus a squared plus x squared. Let's type that in. And now let's use solve again, for example, of this expression equal to 2 and see what MATLAB tells me. Well, it is known that you can't find an explicit solution of this expression in order to x. So MATLAB also tells you exactly that and gives you an empty symbolic variable. Let's try to change the value of a to 1.5 for example. And let's see the plot of y. Now this is the graph it gives me. Say I want to solve now, for example, find this point here 
and solve y equals to 500. Let's do that and use the command solve y equals to 500 in order to x. Again, it tells me that MATLAB was unable to find an analytic symbolic expression for the solution of this equation. However, MATLAB was able to find its value symbolically, as you can see here. Now, I'd like to give you a couple of useful examples using scripts. And, for example, let's walk this script line by line and see what it does. So the first line, it's used to allocate x as a symbolic variable that has size of 5 by 1. So it will be a vector, a symbolic vector that has inside of it fields named x. When I press enter, this is what I get. So x is a vector that contains x1, x2, x3, x4 and x5. In the next line, I define the function f, which is similar to what I've done before in the command window. And in the next few lines, I'm using a code to compute the gradient of f. Let's check it. I'm allocating the variable gradf to be the gradient of f, so it will be a vector. And I'm allocating with the fields gradf and with the same size of the variable x. Then, in the for cycle, I'm iterating from 1 to the length of x, so exactly the amount of variables I have in x, so x1 to 5, and inside the for cycle, I'm computing each component of the gradient of f, using the commands diff of f in order to xi. Let's run this example, and let's check the function f, as you can see, this is the function f that is defined. And now let's check its gradient. And if you do it by hand, you'll see that indeed this corresponds to the gradient of f. So this will be the de derivative in order to x1. This will be the derivative in order to x2, x3, x4 and x5. Now, to show you that you can also use the symbolic toolbox with matrices and vectors, I've added the following code here. So let's walk through it. So first of all, I've defined A to be equal to this expression, B equal to this expression, C equal to this expression, and D equal to F, and F is the function I've just defined before. Then I've created a matrix M that will contain A, B, C, and D. After that, I've computed the inverse matrix of M, just like you would in a normal matrix. And then to show that you can also differentiate matrices in order to variables, I've differentiated the variable inv M in order to X1. And I'll just type inv here. And I'll store it in the variable d if m dx1. Now let's run this code again and let's check what's in the matrix m and as you can see this is a, this is b, this is c and this is what's in d which is also f here. Now let's check the inverse matrix of m using inv m and as you can see this is already a more complex expression that the computer computed quite easily. You can also sometimes simplify these expressions by using the command simplify. And I'll show you too what's in the variable d inv m dx1. And as you can see, and if you do it by hand, this is the derivative of the inverse of m matrix in order to x1. So I think by this lengthy expression you see what I mean when I say that this toolbox is quite useful. That's everything I wanted to talk about symbolic uh, toolbox of MATLAB. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial and hopefully I'll see you in another one.